Hi, welcome to One Word a Day. I'm Sophie, your pilot into the universe of Chinese. We are going to continue our exploration into this language. And I'm going to be upfront if I don't know something which encountered today that one Shui Tian Shan was what we talked last time, but this one I cannot explain. I searched some more and I couldn't find out uh, some, uh, any scholar come up with theory of why we abstract this um, concept in num numerical sense unit um, 10,000 as such. <laughs> but last time, Wan Shui Tian Shan, we can explain the Tian as like, we have this human figure that could be, um, you know, it's kind of a kneeling forward, that kind of a human figure. It's uh, in submission, it looks like a uh, enslaved human that could be sold a hundred a hundred some currency unit, right? And then 10 of those, that's meant to be, it worth 10, uh, I mean, 10 of 100, so it's thousand. But how this came into being is still a mystery. And then we have, um, Shan simply means it's far, far away that between you and whoever is the other side, uh, there are, 10,000 rivers and thousands of mountains. Okay, and today we continue with what? Uh, one of this um, branch of thoughts of why what coming into being is it was originally um, a symbol, much, much more complicated uh, description because, because it, it probably became more and more prevalently used. So people have to find um, a simpler way to write this. Um, but the original one was looking like a scorpion, scorpion. Okay, scorpions are um, highly reproductive uh, creatures and they can produce many, many offerings, offsprings and in one hatch. So they are used as a representation of multiplication. Um, to be a lot. So that's the other branch of one, but that's simplified into this character, but what this character meant originally, and it was borrowed to, to mean this 10,000 concept, um, it's still a mystery. So we will continue. Maybe one day I, I light up and uh, hit on uh, an idea, or I saw some other people soft in mystery I can share. Okay. So nian, we have, we met this one before. Um, it's a beautiful meaning. It has a top and bottom. The top is, uh, is a sound of jin means today. It's like right now at the moment. That, that concept is uh, current, like uh, relevant to you right now, what's current going on. It, it doesn't mean like exact moment of now. It just means today, roughly to English today. And we have the heart symbol looking like a lobster with two arms like that, right? Um, so my explanation of that is, it's like a cavity uh, of uh, anatomy of the heart. This is a cavity and then three tubes coming out of it. So that's a representation of heart. So today, heart. Okay, today, how it came into be? My explanation is, okay, this triangle thing, is like past, future, today is forever in this link, looping forever, right? All your life can be seen from this three perspective or three um, directions, um, and they are uh, going to be transformed, right? Your past, you, your past is your befores today, right? And then your future is your going to be your today one day. Um, so they are linked. And then there is this pointer of heading down. It means like, oh, uh, it's not past, not future. It's this one that we, are, we, we mean. So this is the pointing down at like right now, the middle one. Um, so that's how it was created to kind of abstractly express it today. Um, so today's hard interpreted would be um, what's on your mind right now. So that's your ideas. Like what's on your operating system right now? 
uh, the, uh, the running program, that's the ideas, okay? Two, uh, we met this one before too. Um, uh, the side symbol is a human figure. And then the right, we can see two three finger hand over there. And this looks like eyeball, but it came from a cookware. So it was different shape, but again, uh, for efficiency of language, gradually abstract, abstracted into this oval shape with two horizontal lines, but it's not about the eyeballs, but it's about a cookware. So it's somebody cooking with two hands and two hands can come actually from like multiple, like two different persons. So it's like collectively cook. So basically it's a describing a scene of um, collectively making food together and there are people involved. So further emphasize this human and then together cooking. And with that extended into other settings, other activities, not just cooking. So it's basically together. So at least you have two individuals, like two hands there and it's a human thing. So eventually that means gathering or do something together. At least, I mean, if it's a together, it has to be at least two minimum, right? Entities over there and two persons over there. So human symbol over there. And eventually this just extend to together, all of them. So 10,000 ideas all turned to ashes. So ash, okay, as you know, Chinese, we don't really have plural forms. Um, so even if I, I put an ash there, ash is just a word by word translation, but here in this context, it, it gotta be ashes. It's not just one speck of ash. Um, but hui came from the fire symbol and then three finger hand again on top of the fire. So this is an um, indirect way to mean if you can put your hand over heat, over fire, that means the fire is safe to touch already. So that's kind of in the ashes state, like the, uh, the fire was uh, burned out and so that you can put your hand over it. You can touch the fire. So that's, um, that's a kind of indirect way to say it's um, a turn to ashes already. So you have to kind of infer what's the touchable fire. It's the ash fire stage. Um, so, I mean, overall, even if we have a mystery over here and 10,000 ideas, 10,000 normally just, it's a maxed out unit. So in the, I mean, in our contemporary lives, we have K, M, mil, right? And then we have G, gigabytes and uh, terabytes, uh, especially in computer science domain, the units keeps getting bigger, right? We have now, uh, I mean, billion is nine zeros after the one, right? And then uh, we have, I don't even know what it's gigabyte and the terabytes, super, super big numbers. Um, or like a trillion dollar, okay, let's go to dollar unit. So trillion now is what we heard. So that's 12 zeros, right? So in ancient Chinese living situation, we don't go that far. Like, uh, like a national, like a GDP probably was not even a concept similar to our days, right? That's a co contemporary device to measure economy. But back then in the everyday living, 10,000 10, is already a huge number. So that's probably the biggest unit of measurement. Four zeros after the one out of the non-zero, let's say. So that's already at the max, top limit of that. So when we say one, something, that means maxed it out. So everything, every... Um, here, every ideas already turned into ashes. So that's Chinese po sort of poetic way to say despair. Um, I mean, I don't put an ash picture over here. I probably should, um, but I want to convey the sense of despair. So everything turned to the color of gray 
and in Chinese, just from this phrase, uh, they are all they all become ashes. Means it's there's no energy left in there. It's dead. Some something is burned out, burned down, right? Um, so in Chinese, the ash does carry this meaning of it's done. Um, there's no living sign uh, about it. Like it, it's gone. Um, and it could also mean the ashes means the sort of the color from the ash, which is not pure black, but definitely not white. It's a smeared uh, stage of color. So if your, all your thoughts are turned into this grayish color, that means you're, you're looking at the world filtered with a gray color filter. So everything in front of your eyes look dead, look grayish. It's um, dimmed down, like there is no liveliness in it. So in that sense, either it's ashes or the color of gray, one nian ju hui in this phrase, um, convey the sense of there's no, it's a low energy stage, let's say, because if it's ashes, probably there's still some remainder of a fire. It's not complete dead darkness over there they're still but it's not going to be revived into big bonfire anymore it's it's done it passed its peak time right so it's in the elements of a burning in the energy over there is is it's done as a minimum and in a, in terms of color gray color in chinese also uh means it's um it's related to uh the despair so that's our one. Yeah, we catch into the country of thinking about one word a day with Sophie. See you another day.